Hey, hello and welcome back to another video tutorial. In this one, we're going to look into the Reset API. So Reset might sound pretty simple, but in reality, there is a, a lot of different requirements when people want to reset in that form. For example, some form might want to reset to be an empty state, while some form may want to reset to the initial state. And there are some form that want to reset the form but partially keeping their form states, for example, keeping the touched, keeping the dirty state, and etc. So we're going to dive deep into the Reset API and taking a look how React Hook Form can actually achieve all those different type of requirements. So I have this code sandbox prepared. Uh, in this time, I prepared something a little bit different. Uh, I actually have a controlled input and uncontrolled input placing them at the same time. So just showcase uh, it's going to work for both type of the inputs. So first, um, let's actually put in a button in place and, and invoking the reset API. Let's call it reset. I'll click. If you pay attention um, to the to the types that reset provides, the first argument is actually optional. Because if you didn't provide any value, what React hook form is gonna do is actually gonna reset back to what you provide as a default value. So if I actually have some input value and I'm hitting the reset, this will be resetting back to the empty stream. Cool. That works great. Now, come to the second requirement. What if we want to update the entire form into a different value, but we also want to update in the default value? Now, this is the time when you actually want to supply it with a value. So we can do first name equal bill and last name equal law. So when the value gets provided, the moment we press the submit, or press the reset, and not only updating value in the UI, it also reflecting the default value gets stored inside the React Talk form. Now, this is one of the concept that people probably not pay attention. Most of the form, they will always need to capture the default value or initial value, uh, some other library calls it, because why is the case? Because you always want to revert back to the initial state. That's one thing. And the other thing, when you measure something against your form, is it dirty or not? A default value, initial value, would always need to be the source of truth to deep equal against. So you can know whether the form is actually being changed or modified at all. So this is always going to be the case um, when you manage a complicated form state to knowing whether the form is dirty or, or being modified. Cool. Now, next requirement. What if we want to update a value, but we still want to keep the default values inside a React hook form? And now it's the place where we can start using some of the options. So we can go keep default values. If that's being supplied, what does that mean? Uh, why do I have, no, it's all good. That means the moment I press a submit, I will updating the value of the UI. But inside React hook form, the default value should remain the same. And let me prove that why, why is that really useful. So in the case, if I want to manage or listening for the form state of is dirty. And we all know that. When the form gets initialized, the dirty state is going to be false to start with. And then once we interact with it and changing the value, it becomes true. So if I keep the default value when I invoke the reset API, that means the form will re be remain as dirty because the default value will be stayed as empty string. 
until you wipe all of that away. Then dirty flip back to false. So that's one of the important thing about keeping the default value so you can easily checking against the forms being modified or not. In the other in the opposite direction, if I remove that keep default values, if I refresh this page and hitting the reset, so the bill and law will be the default value. So now if I changing something, that will become is dirty, which means it's been modified. If I delete, it will go back. Cool. Now let's have a look at some of the other options that React Hook Form provides. So we can actually keep the error state as well. So if you got some kind of error on the screen, we can keep them remained and refreshed form. We can also keep the value, which means you reset everything else, but you can keep the value on the form. So let's just quickly try this out. Keep values. If that's the case, I can hit the submit or the reset button. Everything stays stay the same. The values do stay the same. And what else? You can keep pretty much every single piece of form stay inside a React Hook form. And just kind of resetting the form and avoiding changing the form stay. However, by default, every time you press the submit, all the form state will get flushed away. Cool. And next, I like to touch one other thing that often gets misused, which is resetting your form inside on submit function. So why this is the problem? So let me just quickly showcase of that. If I resetting the form in here, one of the problem is because this whole handle submit function is asynchronous. So you're basically running a micro task inside. But most of the case, some of the cases is the inputs get registered actually until the component gets remounted again. So which means you might end up with incorrect form state. So the correct way of doing that is always reset after a form is being successfully submitted. Let's subscribing to the form state is submit successful. And that way you can guarantee the forms get submitted and all the inputs it's been mounted and it's ready to be reset. And here is a better place for you to invoke the reset API. Oh, I forgot to pass down the form state as a dependency. Here we go. Now if I submit, uh, the correct state gets updated, the correct reset happens. Cool. Now the other thing that you can do is you can actually do a partial reset as well. So which means you can grab whatever in the form right now and partially reset them. So for example, we can use the get values API and combining with the reset API. In this example, we can say, we will do a shallow merge with whatever is actually current in the form and then merge against whatever we want to supply with the new value. So with, in this case, what we're expecting is we're going to expecting the first name will be stay the same and the last name will be get reset. And here we go. This is another really good, awesome way to reset partially with your form. Now you might be considering, okay, what's the difference between reset API and set value API? I think the difference is set value API is mostly targeting on single value and setting a value. While reset API is great for you want to do a bulk update to your entire form. And one of the most important difference is set value API doesn't really manipulate or wipe away your form state while Reset API actually will wipe your form states when you're actually invoking it. 
So that's the difference when you choose which API you want to use. Okay, I think I covered pretty much on the reset API. I hope you found this useful and let's catch up in the next video. Thanks, bye.